So here we go. This is probably three eighths steel plate on the back. And then, uh, so uh, I had a bumper mount, which I had to custom uh, configure to the back plate. And then I put the, uh, the ammo box on there uh, because I needed to carry some straps and things like that. So the ammo can work great. Plus it's got a remote weatherproof and it also helps protect the winch from, I don't know, anything from above. The other thing that I did was I moved the lights up here. They used to be down here. And what I found was the light would come around the side of your face and actually make it harder to see. So by moving them up, my theory is that the light will be down, um, coming down on top and therefore a hat uh, or the you know the helmet that I wear when I'm cutting will block more of that light. So anyway, uh, so far highly impressed with this mower. Just the the details on the mower, you know, little things like this, the little screws that hold that thing down. Super easy to get on and off for cleaning under there. This system here is very obvious and easy to use. Uh, you know, the seats got the uh, air ride adjustment. Top of the line mower, top of the line price, but overall you know uh if you're going to spend the money on something like this then why not get the one that will hopefully do the best job oh the other thing solid tires um the other mower that we rented to get started kept getting flat tires in the front and you know in these areas like like uh, i deal with out here anytime that you have a fire and you you know the little stubs are left all of those turn into uh tire puncture hazards so having solid here and then what I'm going to do on the back is actually drain the air out of those and put some um, Kevlar fiber product in there so even when the uh, tire gets a flat or a small hole the Kevlar fibers blow into the hole and keep it from deflating really great product from what I understand and I can understand the science so I'm a little bit more confident so all right time to load up and uh, get out of here go get this job done